Hi, this is Sumit and you are watching Knowledge Modulation. As we know, AWS and the cloud computing is the one of the best emerging technologies nowadays. So we have to learn lots of concepts related to AWS server and Linux server also because all this cloud and the most secure platform is uh, developed by Linux only. So all the things from the Linux all the things related to Linux we have to learn. In this video, we are going to learn how to install NGINX. Also, we are going to see the firewall and uh, ports concept related to NGINX and Linux CentOS 7. So, without wasting time, let's continue to our next video. I am continue uh, to my server login. So, I am just entering my username that is CentOS and I want to uh, use this machine as a root user so i am just moving to root user sudo hyphen i now first thing keep in mind that uh, every time when you want to install uh, any packages any software you have to update your system first you have to check for the updates otherwise it will create issues after that so every time when you want to install new packages or you 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 should check all these things uh, when you log into your server so I am just waiting when I finish this installation. It will take some time to uh, finish your updates if you uh, have not installed the updates for a long time. Don't worry, it will update automatically in some times. After this, uh, we have to install EPL libraries because every time EPL libraries get updated and it will help you to install new software directly. So I'm just installing EPL libraries, yum install EPL hyphen release. Yes, it is updating EPL libraries also. Now once I done with the EPL libraries, I'll just uh, directly install my nginx server so type sudo yum install nginx and yes it is it is installing the software press y just continue by pressing y it will take some time few minutes approximately and yes i think uh, we have successfully installed now we install nginx so uh, let's begin let's start the nginx server so for that purpose we have to type systemctl start nginx so i'm getting one error failed because the control process exited with the error systemctl status nginx services now we will check uh, where is the issue so we will just go to the error logs and at the error log we will get the proper resolution for our error and yes you can get here the proper error that the 80 port is already in use because we have already installed the apache httpd server on the same machine what do we do now we just remove our httpd server or we can change the port also but uh, removing httpd is the easiest way because we are not using the http right now so we just removed httpd and now we will start the nginx for that purpose just enter systemctl start nginx and here see there is no error it means it started so now we have to enable the nginx so system ctl enable nginx yes it is enabled properly no error now we have to check status system ctl status nginx and yes you you can see here that active running status is there so your server is properly running and we have successfully installed the nginx now we have to uh, check for the firewall and we have to install the firewall allow the ports now we will directly give the command to listen the port sudo firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen zone equal to public hyphen add service equal to http now we are getting error that command not found because firewall is not installed so for that purpose we have to install first firewall and then we have to uh, go with this command so yum install 
firewall D. This is the command to install the firewall and yes it will take also one to two minutes and yes I am done with the firewall. Now we will run the same command. Now again we are getting error that firewall D is not running. So we installed the firewall but we have not started it yet that's why we are getting this error. So let's start the firewall first. Enter command systemctl start firewall D. Yes it is running now. We can check uh, status of the firewall over here systemctl status firewall D. And yes we are getting message that active running so our firewall is successfully installed and it is in active state so now we will go to the uh, firewall command again and yes we have received one message success it means that our rule is added to the firewall now we have to do same for the https secure traffic so Again I am entering the same command and instead of HTTP I am entering as HTTPS. Yes we have successfully added the uh, HTTPS traffic for the NGINX. When you add any rule to the firewall you have to restart reload your uh, firewall then only it allows all the services. We already check our firewall, our NGINX server so all is properly running. So this is it for now. So guys, I need your support. So please do like, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe our channel Knowledge Modulation to see more videos like this and to grow your technical knowledge. So this is it for now and thanks for watching this video. Keep watching.